What's up, everyone? Welcome to Serial Killer Gaming. My name is Colby, or as I'm better known as on Twitch, Instagram, and here on YouTube, Serial Killer. And in this video, I show you how to put together the boss monsters or the named monsters or enemies uh, for Warhammer Quest Cursed City. And um, these models were interesting to put together. <laughs> um, but with that being said, if this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you could, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out. It lets me know that the videos that I am putting out uh, were helpful to you and videos that you enjoyed. Um, I started doing these videos just because I was putting the models together and I thought, you know what? I am more of a visual person. And I wish there were more videos on how to put models together. So I decided that while I was putting all my models together for my games, I would record it and try to help others out as well. And so, like I said, if this is your first time at the here in the channel and you like what you see, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It really helps the channel out. And if there's anything you would change, let me know in the comments below. And I will try to work that into the videos if I feel like um, it is something that can make the videos worthwhile. But with that being said, if this is not your first time here and you have been here before, thank you so much for stopping by again. I really appreciate it. And a, I want to give a special shout out to all of the uh, subscribers that I have had come in over the past week or so. I really appreciate it. I've had an influx of subscribers and it really means a lot to me. So thank you all so much. Um, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the tools that we will be using to put the models together today. So yeah, um, enough of me talking. Let's check out how to put the models together for the boss models uh, for Warhammer Quest Cursed City. As usual, let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the tools we will be using to put these models together. We will be using sprue clippers to cut the pieces off of the sprues. Then we have a mold line remover. And this is something, if you don't have this, I highly recommend getting one. This mold line remover is awesome. Um, this is actually from Citadel, so Games Workshop. And the whole thing is metal. And the great thing about it is it's not sharp and it won't cut you. Um, I know some people like to use like the modeling knife and stuff like that, but those I have found that I have cut my finger way too much with those. And this I've had for four years and you can see that even though it has some nicks and some chipped paint, it still is awesome. Like it works just like I had just bought this, uh, today. So I highly recommend getting one of these. I believe they're about $25, but it's definitely worth the money if you're going to be putting a lot of models together. I also have a set of filing uh, tools, and that is just to clean up any mold lines or parts where the um, sprue was. And then I also have some liquid cement for plastic mold, uh, plastic models here. And I use this just to get a better connection between the, the pegs on the quick fit um, models. You don't have to use any glue on these. They all snap together really well. And these are done really, really well. But I always like putting just a little bit of glue in there. But with that, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the sprue that we will be using to put together Radicar the Wolf. Looking at the sprue that Radicar the Wolf comes on, you can tell that he is the only one on the sprue, so that is nice. Um, so what you need to go ahead and do is cut all of the pieces off of the sprue, and we will line them up, numbers one through five in order, and we will start putting Radicar together. So go ahead and clip all the pieces off of the sprues, but again, be careful with the pegs down here at the bottom and like right here on the head and down by the feet. Uh, you just want to make sure that you are cutting the pieces that are the sprue and not anything else that is going to be a part of the model. 
So take your time with this, especially like right here. You're going to want to cut just right at the end there. Make sure you don't cut any of that uh, leather piece off right there because that's going to be the buckle that comes down in front of him. But go ahead and cut all those pieces off, clean them up, and we will start putting Radicar the wolf together. Now with those pieces cleaned up, go ahead and lay the pieces out um, by numerical order. So one, two, three, four, and five. What you're going to do is you're going to take this first piece and you're going to see this hole right here. Well, that's where the arm is going to slide into the piece. And it's going to go all the way in to where the shoulder is covered by the uh, wolf pelt. So this is going to slide all the way in like this. And the reason for that is because the body, you're going to see this hole here. That is actually where this piece goes. If you flip over the chest, you will see a hole right here. And this is actually going to slide in to the other piece just like that. So once you get that set in the way that it's supposed to be, go ahead and you can either snap it in, or if you're like me and you like to use a little bit of glue, you can go ahead and put some glue on it. And once you do that, we will be able to move on to the next step. Once you have that piece snapped together, go ahead and take the piece that has the face and the tail of the wolf, um, on it, go ahead and that is going to fit right over that big peg that we were um, putting the body through a second ago. Go ahead and slide that on. Then you're going to take this last piece and you're going to see that there are three pegs on it. And those three pegs actually fit right here on the side, right here in the center, and then right across the belt. So go ahead and if you put glue on yours, go ahead and put the glue into the holes where those pegs are going to go, just like that. And then you can fit this in to where it's on that center peg. And everything else should just kind of snap together just like that. And so once you have all of that put together, we can get the base for this model. And I believe for Radicar the Wolf, it is going to be a 40 millimeter base. And kind of like I showed in the last uh, video, at the front of the instruction booklet, you will find this little diagram. And so find the 40 millimeter base. There should be six of them. And you can actually check it right here. And so once you have checked that, we can go ahead and come back and look and see how we base Radicar. So let's go ahead, get that 40 millimeter base, and we will base Radicar, and we can move on to Torgilius the Chamberlain. But first, let's go ahead and base Radicar the Wolf. And with all those pieces snapped in, and everything connected the way that it is supposed to be, we can go ahead and base Radicar. And you're going to want to make sure that the uh, two holes where the pegs are going to go into are actually facing closest to the back because you want Radicar to fit on his base where he kind of is... Well, if you turn it the other way around, he's actually going to be coming off of the base um, let me see if I can kind of show it here. You can see that his uh, model is going to be off of his base. So you're going to want to turn it around and pop it down in there. But again, I usually like to put just a little bit of glue, especially on the bases. Uh, I find it's definitely a problem um, when the models, the snap together models are based they can actually come off the base pretty easily. So the best thing to do is put a little bit of glue on there and then work the uh, 
model down onto the base and then that glue will just hold that model onto the base a little bit better and make sure it doesn't come off of its base. So with that, Radicar the Wolf is done. And so now let's go ahead and move on to uh, Torgilius the Chamberlain. Taking a quick look at the book, you can see that Torgilius is going to be pieces 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So go ahead and get those pieces and also get a 40 millimeter base. And all of those pieces are going to be found on this bigger sprue. So you should see one sprue in the set that looks like this that has uh, the big, the bigger models, I guess you could say on it. So like find the one with all the fur here and that's the one that you're going to be using. So go ahead and cut out and clean up the pieces seven through 12, and we will put Torgilius together. I also wanna take a quick second just to say, be careful with the uh, candlestick here. You can see some wax coming down on the side. Make sure you don't cut that piece off because the sprue uh, tip is actually right next to the wax. So be careful when you're cutting that out and make sure you don't cut off the small wax pieces that are melting off of the candle. Now we can start putting Torgelius the Chamberlain together. So first you're going to take the two uh, parts of the body and you will see that there is a hole here and a peg right there. So you're going to put those together and push it until everything lines up the way it is supposed to. And you're going to have one peg going off to the side a little bit and then another peg right there at the bottom. Next, you're going to take the uh, front of the body and the head piece is actually going to fit through this peg here. And then you'll see on the back of the chest piece, there's a hole right here and that's actually going to fit onto that lower peg. So go ahead and put the... Uh, I guess the armrests or arm straps, whatever you want to call that piece right there, over the top, and then you can flip it over and you will be able to see that you've got the piece uh, put together to where that lower peg is going to fit in there. So it should just slide down kind of like you just saw and fit together just like that. So go ahead and let's put that piece together and then we will move on to the head. With those pieces put together, you can go ahead and put the head onto the model. So the head is actually going to be facing to his right. And uh, you need to be careful while doing it. You don't want to push too hard and mess up the staff but you will get it to where it snaps on there and it should fit pretty easily to where you don't have a lot of gaps. So the head is going to go on just like that, but uh, put the head on and then we will move on to putting on the arm. I wanted to zoom in on this part just because this is a little interesting. The um model actually has you can see it there a small little hole or yeah just a little hole right there in the side uh, of his rib cage and that's actually where that small little piece is going to go right there so you're going to turn the model sideways and then you can see that there's two places that this model is going to go into Take your time while putting this one, this piece together, because again, you've got the small candle and you don't want to break that piece off, but it should e pretty easily just slide on there. And once you have that set, get your 40 millimeter base and we will put uh, the rest of the model together. And to start basing Torgilius, let's go ahead and put the wolf on his side and it should just fit on there pretty easily um, that's the great thing about these push to fit models is they all kind of have a special place that they go on the uh, models themselves so you can tell if it's sitting how it's supposed to now 
put a little bit of glue on the base and then you're going to want the holes facing the back and then once you have that you can push Torgelius down onto his base and now he is done so with that Torgelius is done and we now have two of the bosses put together so let's go ahead and take a look at the watch captain Halgrim and let's see about putting that one together for Gilius the Chamberlain is now done and so with that let's go ahead take a look at the next model we're going to be doing so that is watch captain Halgrim and as you can see watch captain Halgrim's just a little bit easier to put together so go ahead get pieces 13 14 15 and a 32 millimeter base which is going to come in this package and it's actually going to have a slit just like that right there so go ahead and get uh, pieces 13 14 15 and a 32 millimeter base and we will put him together now that you have all those pieces cut out and cleaned up we can go ahead and start putting the watch captain together so you're going to take the skeleton body and the cape and you're going to see that the arm bone right here is on the front piece and it's just going to fit right down into that arm piece there so you will turn the model until it fits in there and then it should just snap into place and as you can tell even back here this little peg lines up with that bottom piece of the base then you're going to take the front of the model and again you're going to see a little peg here and then the peg on the chest and that's where that piece is going to line up it's best to turn it sideways so you can see where the peg is and then once you have that where it's supposed to be you just push down and then the model is ready to be based so I'm going to take my glue and just put a little bit of glue on there. But first, I'm going to fit it onto the base, make sure it fits in there well, and figure out which way I want to put it. I'm going to put it that way just because I don't want that hole to be in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue. Well, I'm recording this now just push the model down onto the base now the watch captain is done and ready for the game so with that being done we can take a look at the next models we're going to do and this is the uh a Sargi night guard and I know I probably said that wrong so uh, my apologies on that but you can see that for this first one there's going to be a couple of different pieces and it looks like it's going to be 19 20 21 22 and 23 as well as a 40 millimeter base so let's take those off of the sprue and we will start putting them together after we have everything cleaned up start putting this model together take the front of the body and you'll see these two pegs those are going to go into the back of the body best way to do it is make sure you have the bottom piece connected and then just push it in and then you can flip it and do the same to the top and you should hear the snap once that is snapped together take the head and the um, thorns, I guess you could say, that are across the head. And you are going to also push that onto the head. So with those two pieces done, we will next put the head onto the body. And you're going to see a peg on the back of the head piece and a hole right here just under the neck. Those two should snap together just like that. And with that being done, we are ready to base this first night guard. 
Now, the night guard is actually going to go on the back peg. Once you have the night guard where you want it on the peg, push it down, put some glue on there, and then you will put the mouse. And so you can put the rat however you want to. I will probably put it to where it's facing forward, just like that. Once you have some glue on it, you can push it down onto the base and the first Kusargi night guard is done. The next one is a little bit easier and it's going to be pieces 16, 17, and 18. And also grab another 40 millimeter base. When you have all those pieces cut out and ready to go, it is time to put this other night guard together. And this is going to be a little tricky because here you have got the crown that is uh, goes across the head of the model and you have to get it over this. Uh, so you have to slide the head in first. So turn it sideways and then slide it in there and then you will be able to line up the peg. And once you have the peg lined up on the model, everything should just slide together and then that you can see that that crown fits onto uh, the model. Then you want to take the back of the body and you'll see the three pegs and that will just fit onto the model just like that. As you could hear the snap, now you are going to take the base and it's actually you want the two holes to be in the front of the model then you push that down and now the kasargi night guards are done and we can go ahead and take a look at the next model we are going to be doing and that is going to be the varicose bloodborne and so with that, let's cut out the pieces 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28, and also grab a 32 millimeter base. So let's clean those up and we will put the first one of the Bloodborne models together. To start putting this model together, you're going to take the two pillar pieces and those are just going to snap together just like that. Now set that piece to the side and take the piece that is holding the sword. And if you flip it over, you will see that there is just a little L shape right here. That is because this arm is going to fit down into that piece just, I know it's kind of hard to see, but just like that. Now with the body, the front of the body, you're going to want the arm sitting in there just like that. And it's going to rest against the pillar. Um, see if you can see it, it actually fits right back there on the back of the model as well. So you snap those two together and that arm piece should rest in there pretty well. And it shouldn't move. Um, this is definitely a place if you can get some glue in there. I would really recommend putting some glue on it. Then from there, you will take the head and the head will just slide right onto the neck of the model. And then you will take the base and put it to where the bottom of the base is actually going across the model or across the base, excuse me. So just like that. And with that, the first of the Varicose Bloodborne is done. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one we're going to be doing. And it looks like that's going to be pieces 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. So go ahead and get pieces 29 through 33 cut off, cleaned up, and also grab another 32 millimeter base start putting this model together, go ahead and take the 
torso and the head and the two of them should fit together pretty easily it should slide right on and it's going to look like that once it is put together then you're going to take the three pieces of the pillar take the bottom piece first and you will snap that in and as you can see it should just slide together pretty easily then you'll take the top piece here and it should just slide right in and then you can take the body piece that you had put together and it will slide to where the hand is actually resting on top of that pillar then after that to base it again you're going to want the hole to the left hand side and you will see that um, little piece right there where the uh, model or where the base is actually held together uh, while it's being made and this will just snap down right into that and cover up that piece so that right there is the second bloodborne done and so with that one being done we can go ahead and take a look at the last one and it's going to be pieces 34 35 36 and 37 so let's cut those off of the sprue clean them up and then we can also grab another 32 millimeter base so let's do that and we will come back and see how to put together the last of the varicose bloodborne models and so just really quick you're going to want to look on this piece 34 right here at the head you're going to see a little peg do not cut the peg off but cut right there that way you have that peg and that's where the head is actually going to go onto the uh, body of the model so just make sure you don't cut the peg all the way back to the uh, back of the head because then you won't be able to put the head onto or the face onto the back of the head but just wanted to show that real quick before you got too far with cutting everything off with all those pieces cut out we can put the last of the varicose bloodborne together so you want to take the body the front of the body and the uh entire body i guess you could say and that's just going to snap together so you can see the circle right here and that is just going to snap in just like that then you will take the leg piece and it will snap in to where the leg is down so once you get that where it's supposed to go you can snap that piece in and it might take just a little bit but the leg should be coming up to where it rests just against the body to where the leg is going to be facing down almost like it's running or jumping off of something so just like that and then you will take the face and the face will just pop on to the front of the head just like so and once you have that put on there you can take the model and base it and you're going to want to put it the same way you did the others to where it covers up that center uh, little gap so with that being said all of the varicose bloodborne models are done and we can move on to two of my favorite models honestly uh Gorslav the Gravekeeper is going to be next so it looks like we're going to need pieces one two three four five and six as well as a 40 millimeter base so let's cut out pieces one through six and grab a 40 millimeter base clean up the pieces and we will put it together let's go ahead and get started with putting Gorslav the Gravekeeper together you're going to take the front of the body and you're also going to take the big shovel and you see this long piece here this actually slides down just like that 
And so the shovel is going to end up being in the front of your slab. So that's going to slide down right in there. Then you're going to take the skull with the spike going through it. And that is going to be what actually holds the arm in place. So when you snap that on, Gorslav's body, uh, his arm stays in place now. So once you have that piece on, you can take the other back piece, and this will also just snap into the pegs that are on the back of the body. And once you have those in place, you can just push on them. And some of these might have a little bit of an extra plastic on it. So you might have to just kind of trim it up just a little bit. But once you have that set how it's supposed to, it should snap in just like so. And from there, you can take the head and you can see the little groove in the back. And that is just going to pop onto the front of the face just like that. Then the last piece is this little guy here. So you just pop him down on the bottom, just like that. He has a little spot on his back where you put the peg in. Then with this one, you actually want the base to face with the holes to your right. Then once you have that, you can just get Gore Slav to where he goes on to his base. And then that is how you do it. So with that, Gore Slav is put together. I actually just knocked off the spike on one of my uh, sides here. So I will need to put some glue on that and put it back together. But besides that, Gore Slav is ready to go. So with him done, we can take a look at the last model in this video. And it is going to be the Verg Skyr. I have no clue how to say that, and I know I probably just said it wrong. But as you can tell, there are a lot of pieces to this one. And it looks like it is going to be numbers 38 through 47. So go ahead and let's cut all of those pieces out, trim them up, and we will put the last model in this video together. Just real quick, I wanted to show here, this is the base peg, so be careful and cut it just below that peg. You can see that there's a little bit of a difference right here. So what you're going to do is just get it and cut it right there. And also, right over here on the top, you can see another peg here, so cut it down at the bottom, just right where it starts to curve. Then right here at the end of that one, and then same right over there. So just make sure that you are being really careful when you're cutting all of the pieces off for this model. That way you don't cut any pieces that you are going to need to be able to assemble the model. With this one having so many different pieces, we will take it kind of slow. To start with, get the body piece that has the peg at the bottom. You're going to flip it over and then get this funky looking little piece here. Um, you're going to see one peg that kind of comes out just like this and another one that is connected to the body. Get the side that comes out like that and that is actually the piece that is going to snap in right so go ahead and do that. And then once that piece is put on, we will move on to the next piece. Once you have that piece put on, grab the chest piece and that same piece that we were just using. You flip this piece over, you will see that there is a hole right here. And that is actually where this little piece is going to go. So you snap that in just like 
that. And I don't know if you heard that click or not, but it should click together and uh, go together just like that. Now, what we can go ahead and do is take this other body piece and that is going to snap in to this peg right here and this bottom peg and this third peg. So if you look down in the body, you'll see three pegs. And this will just snap in there just like that. Put those pieces together and then we will move on to putting the arms onto the model. Once you have the body put together, we can go ahead and start working on the arms. So I'm going to grab the left arm first and you will see that these two pieces should match up just like that. So once you have them set where they're supposed to go, go ahead and just slide it onto the model. And then you can do the exact same with the right side. And that should just fit in there just like that. So let's put those arms on and then we will start working on the last few pieces, which are going to be the feet, the head, and then we will base it onto the 50 millimeter base. With the arms on, go ahead and take this small little claw and that is going to actually just fit onto the left side just like that. It, it fits in there pretty easily. Um, so put that on and then if you flip it over, you can take this stone piece and you will see this little groove right here in that stone. And that's actually where the claw that's on the model is going to fit. So you can push that on and it goes on pretty easily. And then of course, the last piece to this model is going to be putting the head on and that is going to snap on to where it is facing to the side. And with all of that done, we will work on putting the mouse and the Vargskyer onto the 50 millimeter base. So I will stop here for a second so you can get the arms and the toes on and then we will try to base it. And with that, the Vargskyer is put together. So all we have to do now is just base it and you will want to put the model on the farthest back uh, little peg because you will have the mouse that goes on to the front of the model, just like that. And so with that, all of the big monsters for Cursed City are now put together. So let's take it back up top. I will give you my final thoughts and let you know what the next video will be about. And there you have it. That is how to assemble all of the boss monsters for Warhammer Quest Cursed City. And I wanted to show you with Gorslav, um, I actually broke off one of the little skulls, but thankfully um, I was able to use some plastic glue and put it back on there pretty easily. So um, he is good to go now. But I would say that uh, Gorslav or the Vargskyer are probably my two favorite models out of this whole game. I think they're awesome models. But um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to put together the rest of the models in this set. And so there's going to be a lot of models, but I will show you how to put one of each of the Deadwalker zombies, the Olfen Watch, the Corpse Rats, the Bat Swarms, all of those. I'll show you how to put those together and hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for stopping by. If this was your first time, I really appreciate it. Again, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out. If there's anything that you would like for me to change, leave it in the comments section below. Let me know what your favorite model out of this set was. Um, who's your favorite enemy model?
Um, have you played the game yet? Are you trying to get the game? Let's have a conversation about the game. And with that being said, if you want to have a longer conversation with me or talk to other people that like to do mini painting and put models together, I actually run a Facebook group called Mini Painters United Worldwide. I will leave a link to that in the uh, comments section below or in the description below and uh, feel free to join the group. But until next time, thank you all so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Happy painting. Happy gaming. Bye-bye, everybody.